And welcome back to the Tri-State Ford pregame show. Well, the Yankees Hope Week initiative continues with the story of Jorge Munoz, a man who eight years ago began feeding those less fortunate out of his own kitchen. What started with eight brown bag sandwiches has expanded to 140 meals a day, prepared and delivered by a man who now goes by the nickname, the Angel of Queens. What Jorge Munoz does, he does every day of the year, rain or shine. Driving around Queens collecting donated food, purchasing large amounts of supplies, cooking with his family for hours in a small kitchen. It's all done so that those who need something to eat can get a warm meal. Every night they wait under the L train in Jackson Heights, ever since Jorge, a Colombian immigrant who worked as a bus driver, drove past the day laborers who assembled there and discovered that there were people in New York City going hungry. I saw these guys, the day laborers standing in the street waiting for open jobs. So I tell them, what about you don't have a job for today? What about food? I mean, we left that to God because sometimes we do got nothing to eat today. So I tell them, did you trust me? If I bring you food tomorrow, did you, did you accept it? Yes. Man, of today we got nothing to eat, so I just go get some barbecue chicken and bring it to them and say, waiting for me tomorrow. That was May 2004. The first week was eight guys lined up to eat. The second one, like 24, 26. The third one, 35, and increase week by week. For the last eight years, 170,000 meals. If you're willing to do, believe me, you will do it. It's good, he's helping out people and he appreciate and I appreciate him, you understand? And God bless him for that what he's doing to homeless people. And I appreciate and I love him. He was originally called the chicken and rice man, but after years of showing up every night and spending his own time, energy, and money to feed the hungry, Jorge Munoz has become better known as the angel in Queens. That's why the Yankees have chosen him as their second honoree for Hope Week this year. Yesterday morning, preceded by a throng of reporters, the Yankees took a trip out to Queens to surprise Jorge and his family with some much-needed donations. How are you? How is everything? Everything is good. Where are you? On behalf of the Yankees organization, the Steinbrenner family, and all of our players, we'd like to donate $10,000 to your foundation. Thank you so much. Wow. And then it's a trip to Yankee Stadium, where his nephew, Justin, can learn baseball tips from some fairly knowledgeable instructors. But Justin isn't the only one taking the field. Good now? Wow. Jorge has been asked to throw out the first pitch. Beautiful job, Jorge. Thank you. It's an amazing honor, but Jorge doesn't have much time to soak it in or even stay to watch the game. He has an obligation to the people who depend on him, and he plans on meeting that obligation until he is physically unable to do so. On this night, he's joined by the Yankees front office staff and former Hope Week honorees who have all been moved by Jorge's work. His dedication and hope for a better world is contagious, and Jorge hopes that the people who see what he does will join him. He has a message for those who have more than enough for themselves. People in this world, and not only in this country, in this world, dedicate their time to save money and put the money in the checking account. Right here in this house, this woman. My mom. My mom, my sister, all the people from the organization of media USA, we dedicate all time to save the smiles, grapple the hungry, and saving it on, on our private checking accounts. When you go out there, you will say, God, this is what I have. So don't save money, save it, smile, grapple it from the hungry. That's the best part. 
Well, as you can see, there are many reasons why Jorge Munoz is considered an angel. And here's another. He recently lost his job as a school bus driver, but still uses his own unemployment check to help fund his charity. And if you'd like more information on Jorge's foundation, to get involved or to simply donate, please visit his charity's website at anangelinqueens.org.